Meme coins have absolutely exploded in the past few months. One lucky trader turned a mere $62 investment into a whopping $2 million in profit off of a Solana meme coin 100% verifiable on the blockchain. This has caught major attention online and many have viewed this with skepticism saying, oh, it was the developer. Well, guess what? If in fact it was the dev, there's good news for you watching this channel because I create content on YouTube for you all so that you can become blockchain developers like myself and the thousands of other people that I've helped do the same. Because one of the things I say all the time on this channel is that becoming a blockchain developer gives you a massive edge in this space on every level, and this is just one example. And in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how that's the case and how you can get an edge yourself. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. And if you like what you see in this video today, I can show you to become a blockchain master step-by-step from start to finish over at dappadiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about this trader turned $62 into $2 million off a meme coin in the Solana blockchain. So as always, I say in this video, this is not designed to be financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy or sell any cryptocurrency based on this information. I'm assuming you're already interested in meme coins if you click on this video. And I will tell you, I would personally never gamble away my life savings on this type of thing and don't recommend that you do either. But on to the video. So in this case, this trader turns $62 into $2 million in profit on the Solana blockchain with the Silly Dragon project, a meme coin. At the time of this publication, uh, you know, this was a $500,000 realized profit with $1.5 million unrealized. And when people are saying, oh, it's the dev, they probably mean it's the developer of the project. And, but all the haters are missing the point here, okay? That's an insanely huge return off of a small amount of money. And you don't have to be the dev of the project in order to get an edge in this type of thing. You just have to be a dev to get an edge and I'll show you how. All right, so way number one that way you can get an edge is using your blockchain developer skills to find things before other people. So rule number one in this game is to be early. All right, that's exactly how this trader got an insane profit is they were basically getting in on the ground floor. So, you know, you can see an example of like what the price did on launch day and then what happened after that. If you got it on launch day, that's when you get the absolutely insane returns. So how do you get into that, right? How do you, how do you find out about that stuff before other people? Well, you know, you can just look at new trading pairs that hit the blockchain in real time. And now normal people can also do this, okay? You can look at, you know, a site like Dex Tools. You can look at the Pool Explorers. It will show you new liquidity pools as they hit the blockchain in real time. You can find them within seconds of launching if you want to. Um, and, you know, but you can sit there and stare at your computer screen all day, okay, and then try to do that. Or you can automate this process as a developer. And there's a few different ways to do that. So I just mentioned Dex Tools. You know, they do have an API where you can basically find new pairs and just pull that endpoint uh, every second or a few seconds if you want to define these new pools and you can set a list of criteria that you want to see in a liquidity pool and do things like program a telegram bot that will ping you on your phone or on your computer whenever your criteria is met and then you could get in on a trade. Now, similarly, you don't have to use an API if you're a blockchain developer. You can find out about these new liquidity pools uh, as they're created on the blockchain through events and then do a similar type of thing. Do some type of analysis to see if it's a pool that you're interested in alert yourself of the process and you could enter into the trade manually. All right, point number two is that, you know, you can also automate the process of buying these coins before other people to with a cryptocurrency sniper bot. So basically that builds off of what I talked about in the first section where you can automate the process of finding new things that you could allow you to manually buy them, but you can also fully automate the process if you want to, okay, with an actual bot that buys them. And you can write this in a language like JavaScript. So let me show you how you could do that. So again, you need something like Node.js installed in your computer because JavaScript runs in your web browser, you know, by default, and you need Node.js in order to run, you know, those types of scripts on your machine. And then you need Ethers.js in order to talk to the blockchain. And then you need to be able to talk to whatever, whatever exchange that you're trading on. Let's just say Uniswap, for example. Uh, and you want to look up the Uniswap uh, software developer kit for JavaScript and see how to make trades that way. And then basically you set your bot to watch for the new pairs that are coming in, implement any types of security checks or like whatever you want to decide if that's what you want to purchase and then hook up your crypto wallet and then boom, you know, you can make a small investment into a trade and you know, probably a lot of them are not going to hit, but you might get lucky 
and find one uh, like the developer we're talking about in this video. Of course, not financial advice. Now, one tip on these bots, again, is that there's a lot of trash out there. There's a lot of scam projects, there's a lot of rug pulls, you know, stuff is launching all the time. It's preying off of other bots or people who just don't know what they're doing in the crypto space. And so what you really want to focus on is, you know, implementing those checks inside your sniper bot to avoid these types of projects, okay? And one way you can do that is to look at different, you know, like like things that they're not going to pull the liquidity away. So one way to do that is looking at liquidity lockers. So like Unicrypt is a popular example. People will go like lock tokens for a certain amount of times so that you can always, you know, sell the tokens if you wanted to. Then other team's not just going to yank them for a certain period of time. Another thing you can do is look at uh, an API that looks for smart contract security. Okay, like token sniffer is an example. You can basically send it the address of a token and it will tell you whether the token has like malicious functions inside of it that could disable buying and selling a cryptocurrency or like excessive taxes or things like that or tax modification, mintable, all that type of stuff to avoid buying a scam project uh, to keep you from jumping in on those opportunities. You can go to all those into your bot as well. That's a huge as a, as a developer. All right, so another way that being a blockchain developer gives you an edge in this type of thing is that, you know, basically makes you a power user of the blockchain. So really, you have to remember, like if you've been in the crypto space for a while or like you kind of already kind of know what you're doing, then you forget for most people, there's an insane learning curve to get over if you're going to get in the crypto space and start buying, you know, new coins on decentralized exchanges. You have to understand how wallets work. You have to understand how dApps work, how gas works, fees, all this type of stuff. How to switch between chains is absolutely insane, okay? But if you have the technical skills you learn all that stuff, the process with the goal of being a developer, and then you get a massive edge and a benefit that you can, you understand all this stuff way better than most people. Now, how can that actually be beneficial to you? Well, when you're evaluating new projects, you, you want to make split second decisions. And so if you can do things like read transactions on a block explorer to see like, hey, how are these tokens distributed? Does this, does this look like an insider project? If I'm looking at what this project says it's gonna do, does it look like it has any type of credibility behind it? You know, reading all the activity on the blockchain with the swaps around the token listing, just having that literacy is going to give you a massive edge to evaluate the project in ways that other people are just going to be clueless about and are going to be blindly aping into stuff that they don't understand at all. And on top of that, you know, even just basic stuff like getting trades to actually go through on a DEX without getting sandwich attacked, right? Like basically hooking up your MetaMask and switching their RPC endpoints, something like Flashbots Protect on the Ethereum mainnet so that you're not getting attacked by Jared from Subway. All right, so the last major way that you have a big edge as a blockchain developer to compete in something like this is that you can analyze basic security of projects. So what do I mean by that? Well, there's a couple different things. One is that people are notorious for losing their money in the crypto space, okay? So basically self-custing their own funds and then they accidentally sign the wrong transaction on the blockchain and then boom, all their money's gone. Or they interact with this malicious smart contract okay, that steals money from them, all right, or they buy a scam project that's a complete rug pull. Now, if you're a blockchain developer and you can do things like read smart contracts, you can protect yourself from this type of stuff. So just as an example, um, if you are going to evaluate a token, obviously this is the Chainlink token, it's not a scam token, but you can look at the contract, okay, you can read the source code, and then you can go through there and manually look for code that could potentially be bad. So what would examples of that be? Uh, one might be like, it, it does the token disable buying or selling or transfers? So all tokens have a transfer function. If you look inside that function, does it have any type of code that could manipulate your ability to actually move this out of your wallet in any way? If it does, it might be a scam that you want to avoid. Okay. So other things are like buy sell taxes. Does it have excessive buy sell taxes or can the developer at some point go in there and modify the sell tax to where it's like 95% or something like that. Pause transfers, mint more tokens and dilute your uh, share of the pool, all that type of stuff. And most people just can't see this stuff because they can't go in and actually read a smart contract. But if you're a developer, you have a massive edge in this way. All right, so that's an overview of the trader who made $2 million off of a $62 investment on the Solana meme coin. And, you know, how you can get an edge in this type of thing as a developer, basically how having the skills is going to give you superpowers that most people don't. Again, not financial advice, not saying you're telling you to buy or sell any specific cryptocurrencies, definitely not this one, not telling you to YOLO your life savings into meme coins either. So hope you like this video. You know, as always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to get the massive edge that I'm talking about in this video, 
then I can show you how to become a blockchain developer step-by-step from start to finish over at adaptiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapper Diversity.